Hello, okay, I want to show you my editing process in ScreenFlow. And to start this off, I'm gonna show you a finished edited video, which starts with an intro, which consists of music, a logo, the title of the video, and a background. If I go along the timeline, they all eventually fade out, and it's left to the main presentation and this is what takes most of the time because as you can see I've made lots of little edits here, 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 here where I'm cutting out the ums and ahs when I've said a wrong word or something like that. As you can see there's lots of these edits all the way through the video and this is a four minute video. So I'll show you how I do that on another ScreenFlow document. So this is an unedited ScreenFlow document where I've just got the unedited video and as you can see there's lots of pauses there and the good thing about ScreenFlow is you can see where the pauses are visually and get rid of them easily. But the first thing I'm going to do is having copied those four elements from the introduction on the other one, I'm just going to paste them in now. So they've gone in, the sound, the logo, the title and the background and then I'm going to move the beginning of the presentation along there. It snaps to the point where the background starts to transition and I'm going to change the title. So I'll click on the title there and change it. I need to then click on the title again in the timeline and then click back on it to center it. Now I'll play the title in the beginning of the video. Okay, so now we're going to talk about doing the account. Okay, so I'm quite happy with that. I'm now going to press plus on my keyboard and zoom in a bit more to the timeline as this is where the editing is going to start. As you can see there, I'm saying as a business owner, as a business owner and there's an unnecessary gap and until I've learnt to voice over these videos properly, I have to go back and edit these gaps. So the way I do it is put the scrubber there, press I on the keypad and then hold down shift and drag and of course you notice I've selected in blue the piece that has nothing so these two words run on much more closely together which is what I want. I then command delete to delete this and close up the timeline. So now you see that area I've deleted and the timeline is closed up. You'll also notice that annoyingly the timeline moved there. So we were over here in the middle, that's where my mouse was and the timeline jumped over. So I'm just going to show you a little trick that will stop that happening in future. So if you just go to the end of the video, put the scrubber just before the end and hit T and you make a little cut there and that will stop the timeline moving in the future. So go back and let's listen to our edit and see if we like it. As a business owner... Okay, that sounded all right. Let's look for the next bit to edit. Okay, listen to this. Um, but on the other hand... Okay, it's not bad, but I'm just gonna show you how I get rid of that um. So, same again. I put the scrubber where I want to start the edit. I press I to mark in point. I drag it to the other side of the um and watch now when I command delete the timeline will close up but it won't shift over annoyingly to the right. There we go. So another successful edit. Increasing demand and, and thus increase. I've left out a word there and went back and repeated a whole phrase so I need to get rid of all of that bit. There we go. So you'll start to employ people and thus increasing demand and employment. Okay, I'm just going to get rid of that. And I just want to show you one other thing, and that's my transitions. Actually, this isn't PowerPoint, it's PDF that I've done in InDesign. I've got these nice faded transitions. You see, it fades into the next picture but you can hear me hitting the keyboard there but get rid of the sound it comes in before the transition so here's the transition there you got a nice transition without the sound and I'll close it up before I start talking again on the next slide so I'll just show you one other thing I'm going to select all the sound on the video now because it's a bit more quiet than the intro. So if I go into sound and the audio properties, 
I bumped that up to 130% or something like that. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. A little bit of editing in ScreenFlow to produce some excellent high quality high res videos. My name's Rob from robcoven.com. Goodbye.